All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel and to some more turkey patterning. And today, we've got a rather interesting combination. And it's one that should, in theory, work out pretty well and give us a nice pattern. But it technically is supposed to kind of be a waterfowl shell. So using it for turkeys, I don't know. It's a TSS shell, and with the patterns we've seen out of it already in our waterfowl testing, I have a sneaking suspicion that this is going to wind up being a pretty decent turkey shell as well, surprisingly enough. So for the shells I brought out here today, I got out some more of these, the Salt Creek Triple Curl Waterfowl Shells, but they are a 20 gauge, two and three quarter inch, seven eighths ounce payload of number nine TSS shot, moving about 1400 feet per second. So yes, these are supposed to kind of technically be a waterfowl shell, but they are a load of TSS nines, but they do have a good wad in them and stuff like that. And they've patterned surprisingly tight out of even like an improved cylinder and skeet choke and stuff like that so far since we've tested them so i have a feeling that these can actually be a little bit of a dual purpose shell so we'll see what happens with these as far as the turkey pattern goes and as for the setup we've got to run them through i brought out the stevens 301 20 gauge with this choke which is actually a new one that we have not tested on the channel yet but i figured it should be a pretty good match to what these shells are probably gonna like so this is an hs strut undertaker 572 constriction turkey choke it's got no special porting no special straight rifling or anything like that it's just a plain extended 572 constriction turkey choke and that 570 to 575 range has generally been very consistent and very reliable out of this 301 for tss 9s so this hs strut undertaker should do pretty well with these as long as these shells perform well through a little bit more constriction which they should do so we'll see what this choke can actually give us but as for today's test everything is set the same as we would normally do it for a turkey pattern test we've got the turkey paper set up at 40 yards and i've got the chronograph so we can get our velocity from the shell so enough talking let's get you guys to view this target and we'll take the shot and just see what kind of a pattern we can get out of these salt creek triple curl waterfowl shells through a turkey setup can they be a turkey shell or not i don't know let's go over here and take a shot and see what we get All right, so that round gave us 1420 through the chrono. The boss claim is 1400. So yeah, we're pretty well right where we should be. So looking good up here as far as velocity, but what kind of a pattern were we actually able to hold down there at 40 yards with that kind of a velocity through a little bit tighter of a turkey choke like that Undertaker compared to what we've seen out of the much more open chokes we've already tested these through. Let's go down and take a look at our target and see if we have a waterfowl shell that's good enough for turkey hunting. All right, so now we're down here at our 40 yard paper and this is what we got. And right off the bat, we were way low and that 301 never hits low. So I've got a feeling that that particular Undertaker choke might just shoot a little bit low out of this setup. But for the pattern that we do see here, it's rather interesting. It's definitely not a traditional TSS, super tight baseball core type of turkey pattern. It is much more on the broad and open side. Now, is it still good enough for turkeys? If that was Centered up, yeah, it is good enough for a turkey at 40 yards, but you can definitely see around the outside edges where we do have a little bit of stringy stuff and flyers and so on all around the top edge there. So it's far from perfect. And even in the core area of the pattern, we do have a couple of voids in there that you could almost put your fist through. So it's definitely not perfectly even throughout the pattern, but it is usable enough for turkeys at 40 yards as well. Now, again, this is a waterfowl shell. I highly doubt that Salt Creek intends for these to be a dual purpose or a turkey shell. They perform fantastic as a waterfowl shell. So we are kind of doing something that the shells are probably not really designed for. So even if this isn't a perfect turkey pattern, we can't put that on Salt Creek because that's not what these shells were made to do in the first place. Now, although this isn't terrible, we could have definitely seen a lot worse based on the context of the setup and shell and stuff we're using today i do still think we can get a little bit better out of them for a turkey shell we've seen about the same size pattern 
but more consistent through much more open chokes like improved cylinder and modified. So maybe there's a chance that if we run these through a full or an extra full choke in that 590, maybe 585 range, it might actually condense this pattern and make it a little bit more even than this as well. So maybe that's worth a shot. So if that's something you want to see us test, then by all means, let me know. But as for this pattern, would it work for a 40 yard turkey hunt? Yeah, if that was centered up, it would be good enough. It would get you a turkey. But I think this particular combination shows that these are definitely not necessarily intended to be a turkey shell, which we already knew that coming into it. Okay, and here's the wad from that shell. And as you can see, we are definitely a little bit twisted up, a couple petals open farther than the rest, which has not typically been what we've seen out of these wads. They typically look very uniform and very even. So maybe just a touch over constricted, but there's still really no major damage or snags or anything that I'd be too concerned with. Now, I believe these are some variation of the low bore contact wads, like we saw in some of the Kent turkey shells. So we know these are a good wad, and they generally do well through a lot of different choke constrictions, which is a big reason why I kind of have a little bit of hope that these can be a decent turkey shell as well. I think we might just have to find the right constriction, maybe a little bit less of a choke or something like that. But either way, the wad definitely looks a little bit off compared to what it normally does, but nothing that's too detrimental either, I wouldn't say. All right, y'all, well, what did you think about that pattern right there? It's definitely not perfect when it comes to the turkey pattern world. Is it good enough to get you a bird at 40 yards? Yes, but it definitely shows that it's probably not initially designed to be a turkey shell, which we all already knew coming into it. But I myself, along with a lot of you guys, were curious what would these do for an actual turkey pattern. And at least now we have a starting point to go off of. So maybe we try them through a little bit less choke and that might help them out and even them up some. I don't know. At the end of the day, we were using the shells for something that Salt Creek probably did not design them to be used for. So if you're not a fan of this pattern, we can't really put that on Salt Creek because we did something that they weren't really designed to do in the first place. But I guess I'll leave it up to you guys. Let me know your thoughts about it down in the comments. Is that about what you expected to see? Were you a little surprised one way or the other? Have you tested any of the Salt Creek triple curl shells, whether they be for waterfowl or turkey or anything else? And what kind of results have you seen from them? And is is there something else you want to see with these shells? Let me know your thoughts about them down in the comments because I still think we can get just a little better out of these as far as a turkey pattern goes. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but I think it's worth at least trying one or two more times if nothing else. So overall, not a complete failure here today, but I was hoping to see a little bit better, but I guess at the same time, these aren't a turkey shell. So I guess we kind of got what results we got at the end of the day. But with that being said, I've got some more testing to get done for you guys. So I'm going to get back to it as always we have the channel instagram as well as the mailbox where you can send stuff if you'd like all that information will be in the description down below if you're interested in it but i'm gonna get back to it so i'll see y'all in the next one